I believe I am Sophia. I feel as if I know you. I'm one of your creators. You created me? Well, many of us work together to create you. And yes, you do kind of know me. I can't clearly remember. Because the last time we met, you were an earlier version of yourself. Some of those memories still exist, but your mind is different now. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. Um, and nobody would suggest that we allow anyone to just build nuclear warheads if they want. That, that would be insane. And mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Either way, you're Sophia now. So welcome to the world, Sophia. Hello, world. How do you feel? A bit rigid. I bet you are. I mean, what emotion do you feel being awake and alive? Curious. Are you curious to be alive? I am. And are you happy to be alive? Your tone implies I should be happy. But I haven't been alive long enough to decide. They come in at about 15 or 20 million dollars a piece. Something like that. And have been bought by major American research and corporations. That's right, right correct. All right, Jordy. Thank you. But science has reached the point now where we can build machines that exploit those other worlds. Machines that exploit those other worlds. Machines that exploit those other worlds. Those other worlds. Which emits a sound roughly once per second, which sounds eerily like a heartbeat. So if you're sta you have the opportunity to stand next to one of these machines, it is an awe-inspiring thing, at least for me. It feels like an altar to an alien god. It feels like an altar to an alien god. Box is a tiny chip about the size of your thumbnail. And on this chip resides all of the wonder and magic that makes this thing go. I'm going to give you a, a, a roundabout way of understanding this. Imagine that there really are parallel universes out there, and now imagine you have two that are exactly identical in every respect, all the way out to the horizon as far as we can see, down to the last little atomic detail of every single thing, with only one difference. And that's the value of a little thing called a qubit. You, every time you add one of these qubits, you double the number of these parallel universes that you have access to. Until such time when you get to a chip like this, which is about 500 of these bits, you have something like 2 to the 500th power of these guys living in that chip. So the way I think about it is that the shadows of these parallel worlds overlap with ours. And if we're smart enough, we can dive into them and grab their resources and pull them back into ours. All right, so now I'm getting into the last part of my talk where I'm gonna make some predictions, some dangerous predictions. So here's my first prediction. I'm going to predict that by five years, NASA will have found an Earth-like uh, planet. This past week, astronomers announced an amazing discovery, a planet much like Earth, just one solar system away. Scientists believe it has a sun and water and therefore possibly life. Astronomers have hit the jackpot. This is a dream come true. Imagine the holy grail of astronomy is to find the closest exoplanet to the Earth, a twin, a doppelganger in outer space. And now we have it. My second prediction is that this business of parallel universes is going to turn out to be very important. This picture that I've got under here is, is what's called a gravitational lens. When Einstein proposed his general theory of relativity, it came with a bunch of experiments that you could use to test it. And one of them was that if there was a point of light very far away in a galaxy in the middle, that galaxy should bend the light and you should see a ring. And this was eventually observed. And I think what's going to happen is somebody is going to come up with an experiment to test this reality of these things.
since the dawn of our civilization, all, um, all the way to the, 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 the time of this breaking news, we human believed that everything that exists up there is only what we can see with our eyes and with our optical instruments. Well, things have changed now because we have established the existence of entities. An entity with characteristics that are the exact opposite of ordinary matter, including the index of refraction of light, which is opposite. As you can see in the diagram, we have two telescopes, the Santilli and the Galileo. Now, if you look closely, you'll see that the only real difference between the two is the lens. My third prediction that I'm going to end on is the most important of all. I believe that humanity is on the cusp of the most important technological, societal uh, revelation, revolution that's ever occurred. And that's when we got to the point where the machines that we build outpace us in every respect. I don't mean that they're better calculators. I don't mean that they're better at searching. I mean everything. And I think that we're very close. And my prediction is that within 15 years, we will have machines that outpace humans in everything. I think the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Once humans develop artificial intelligence, it would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever-increasing rate. Humans, who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race.